I never throw out gift bags. I always save them after I would have been given a gift or if Christmas morning, there's bags all over the place. I always collect them all and repurpose them or re-gift to somebody else. Today, I'm gonna to show you 10 ways that you can upcycle these Christmas bags into things that aren't Christmas bags. There's something different. So if your stash is just getting way too big and you're trying to find different ways that you can use up some of these Christmas bags, I've got some fantastic ideas. I've got this wooden disc that I painted with some chalk paint, but I really loved this Santa on front of this bag. So I'm gonna cut it out a little bit bigger than that wooden disc. Now these bags are quite thick, so I'm gonna show you how you can make them thinner and make them easier to decoupage with so your project will look better. Get out your packing tape and put the packing tape along the back of your image. Use your card to press down really well to get rid of any bubbles and wrinkles and then take off that packing tape and it's gonna take off a layer of that paper on that gift bag and make it thinner and more easy to work with. Also seen me do this technique on scrapbooking paper and it just opens up your options of using all that pretty paper that you have in your stash if you wanna decoupage it. If you were gonna decoupage this when it really thick, it would bubble and wrinkle really easy. So there we have our image of Santa, nice and thin. We're gonna get out our Mod Podge mat. And we're gonna decoupage it to the front of this piece of wood. Now don't put on too much Mod Podge. If you're putting on too much, it's going to bubble and wrinkle. You just need a light coat over the entire piece and you wanna make sure that you're getting it right out to the edges. And then we're just gonna pick up our image, center it exactly where we want it, and then press out any bubbles or wrinkles. Don't run to the dollar store and buy brand new bags if you don't have a stash. You can go to the thrift store and a lot of times I'll see a big bag full of gift bags and you can repurpose those and they're really affordable. I got out my brayer and I'm just really pressing that in. Gonna let it dry completely and then once it's dry, I've got a little piece of sandpaper and I'm just gonna sand around the edges. It's gonna give a little bit of a rustic touch to it and we've created a really beautiful piece of Christmas decor with a scrap piece of wood and a Christmas bag and how adorable is this? Next DIY that you can do with a Christmas bag is make your own card and envelope. I always save these little tags and the little strings. I'll use those on another Christmas project, so don't throw those out either. And I'm gonna open this bag right up, cutting off the top and down the side and cutting off the bottom. Sometimes those bags get a little bit ratty after using them three or four times, so this is a great way to repurpose them and you can cut off those bits that are wrecked and turn them into a couple cards and envelopes. I have a full tutorial on how to make DIY envelopes. I'll put the link to that down below in the description because it's really detailed. But what you want to do is you wanna cut a piece of that gift bag in a square. As long as it's 10 by 10, eight by eight, it doesn't matter. It just depends on how big you want your envelope to be. You can customize it. And I'm just gonna cut it so it's a perfect square. And then we're gonna start folding. If you don't have any Christmas bags, again, you can always use just a piece of Christmas scrapbooking paper to do this DIY. Now you're gonna take those two corners and put them right in the middle. Press down that crease. You can also use a bone folder to make a nice crisp line. Envelopes are so easy to make from any type of paper and once you get the hang of it, you'll have so many you won't know what to do with them. And then you're gonna bring the bottom up to the top we're going to use a ruler we're going to put a crease in it and then we're going to fold it under we're getting really close to having this envelope done and these are so pretty to put together from leftover gift bags once we have them all creased really well we're going to now fold down that top flap of the envelope making a crease and then we're going to fold it down and then we're ready to glue it all together. That's how easy it is to put an envelope together. Now this is my favorite paper crafting glue. I'll put a link to it down below in the description. We're gonna put a little bit on the inside of that flap and along the edges of that envelope. Once you have it all on, we're gonna fold that flap down and fold up that other piece. And we basically have put an envelope together that quickly. Now we wanna make a card 
for the inside. So I'm just gonna measure the size of the envelope and then we're going to double that so we can fold it over into a card and it's going to fit into the envelope. Here's another really cute DIY that you can do using some gift bags. This is a really cute little one. I love the reindeer on it. We're going to take the bag apart, taking out the bottom, and we're gonna cut out those two panels that have the reindeer on them. Once we have those cut out, we are gonna make some bookmarks. These are really popular to put in a stocking or to add as a little gift tag on a gift. I'm using my glue stick. We're going to glue those two pieces together so we have the image on the front and the back. And then I'm gonna measure how big I want my bookmark and then I'm gonna use my paper cutter. I'm gonna be able to get two bookmarks out of this bag. Now I'm using the packing tape and that's gonna seal it up and give you a more durable bookmark. I'm gonna put some on the front and the back, making sure that they're completely sealed. So when you're cutting your bookmarks, make sure they're a little bit tinier than the width of the packing tape. Once I have that all done, we're gonna trim around the edges and get rid of all of that extra tape that we don't need. We're gonna get a paper punch and we're going to punch a hole in the top and then we're gonna add a festive ribbon or we can add some twine, however you wanna finish it off. I've got this really pretty striped twine and I'm gonna add it to the top of the bookmarks and this is a really great way to repurpose a gift bag and turn it into two beautiful bookmarks that somebody would love to get in their stocking. Another gift bag and another beautiful image. I love the Santa on this bag. We're going to cut it out and we're gonna turn this into a postcard. I'm gonna use some of my junk journaling skills to put a postcard together that you can tuck into a Christmas gift or you could even mail it if you wanted to. And you can never have enough gift tags. I actually found this punch at a thrift store years ago. I use it so much. I make gift tags for everything with scrap paper that I have laying around. I'm just gonna punch these out of a gift bag that I saved, put a hole in the top, run some twine through. You can write on the back, fantastic gift tags. Another gift bag that I had that has the same image on the front and the back. We're gonna deconstruct, take all the ribbon out. We're gonna save that for another project. Or you can even use these to use on the top of your tags that we just created in that other project. We're gonna cut it out and we're gonna make placemats. Really fun DIY to do with kids if they want to have some placemats to do some Christmas crafts at the table or just to set up your table and put your dinnerware on top of it and it just adds that, adds that festive feel. I'm gonna iron it a little bit so they're nice and flat and then I'm gonna get out my page protector. I always find this at the dollar store and it's really great for projects like this because it's gonna seal this up and allow it to be wiped down with a damp rag if you need to, if you're using it with food at your table. You're just gonna cut that page protector just a little tiny bit bigger than that image that we cut out of the bag. And then once we have it cut out for the front and the back, we're gonna peel away that page protector and then really carefully lay it on top of that piece of the bag that we cut out. You wanna make sure you have it just overhanging just a little tiny bit so it makes a nice edge and smooth out any bubbles and wrinkles. Just take your time while you're peeling it off. And you can imagine the possibilities with so many gift bags that you can turn into beautiful placemats to add at your table at Christmas time.
I love the pattern on this gift bag. And again, we're gonna deconstruct it, take out the ribbons, and we're gonna cut it open so it's one large bag. And then I'm gonna take the bottom piece, that bottom piece of cardboard from the bottom of the bag, and I'm gonna cut a triangle out of it. We're gonna use that as a template. The fun thing with all of these projects is they can be used for any holiday. You have Easter bags, you can make one of these projects. You have birthday bags, you can make one of these projects. And that's what I love about being able to upcycle all of these and not get thrown out. There's so many different ways that we can use them. I've got these cut out and then we're going to take our triangle template and we're going to just cut out a whole bunch of triangles. Once I have all those triangles cut out, we're gonna hold them all together with a paper clamp, and then we're gonna get our hole punch, and we're gonna punch two holes in the top of each triangle. And we're gonna do this to each triangle, and then we're gonna string some twine through these, and we're gonna turn these into a beautiful garland that you can hang over top of a door or on a mantle. So many possibilities, and you've got beautiful paper from a used gift bag that you can turn this into. Another great way to upcycle some gift bags or repurpose it is just use it as gift wrap. I have this little box that's perfect for one of the panels from one of my gift bags and I can just use some scotch tape. I can tape it up and your gift is wrapped and you were able to reuse a gift bag. Got lots of brown paper bags. They turn into beautiful snowflakes. Cut them open, make them into one flat panel. Get your template to make snowflakes or just get creative with the kids and you can make them all different. But this is a great way to use up some of those gift bags and you can string through the top, hang them from your tree, so many possibilities, but it's a great way to upcycle these brown paper bags. And you can also use the gift bags that have patterns on them too, and they'll turn into beautiful snowflakes.
This is just a super simple way to upcycle those gift bags, but so easy. Just take your bag apart if you've got a picture on a bag that you really love and deconstruct your bag, cut out that picture, put it in a frame. Beautiful way to make new Christmas decor from a Christmas bag that you've upcycled or repurposed and saved. I hope you found some inspiration here and you've got some Christmas bags that you can turn into decor. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite. Take care.